This is Chris Kell with your Peak Fitness 8 Weeks to a Better Split Squat. Alright, with that said, for the Split Squat, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find you know, a pad or some kind of target, something that I can drop down to. All right, what I want to do for this exercise is just start up against the wall. All right, the wall is going to give me a little bit of confidence as I'm coming up and down. Um, proper form for the Split Squat would be you know, one foot in front of the other, trying to drop my back knee to the pad. The pad is my target. My knee is staying over my toe, and I want to pretend that I have my head tethered to the ceiling. So I'm literally just coming up and down. Um, you shouldn't be leaning forward excessively. There should be no wobbling. You know, if you find that that is the case, um, simply pause at the bottom. Reset yourself. You know, you can move your knee behind the toe in this position. Pause at the top and really move with good form. All right. So for workout A, um, what we're going to do is we're simply going to start over a pad against the wall here. Right now, if you find that you're not able to get to the bottom of, of, a, uh, of the, the movement here, what we can do is we can stack several carpet squares. Um, we can put like a, a pillow on top of this to give you a little less range of motion. Um, it reduces the demands of the exercise a, is a little bit, and that's a good thing. So for workout A, what we're going to do is just simply lower to the bottom, pause, and come back up. All right? I'm just looking for six to eight split squats with proper form. I'm contracting the butt cheek of the back leg here. Really tighten my abs, just dropping up and down, and then I would hit the other side. All right. Now, once, you're, once you become pretty proficient in this, what we can do is move off the wall and simply do this with body weight only. So again, I'm holding in this position, coming down, coming back up, coming down, coming back up. And again, if you find that um, you can do that pretty easily with several carpet squares or uh, several pillows stacked on top, just remove those until you get to a more challenging depth until we're down to parallel, so almost above the ground here. All right now, once you get there, the next progression would be to elevate the back foot on a step. All right, for this, what I'm going to do is just drop my back foot to the ground and come back up. And this is much more challenging. We're just we're adding more of a balance component to it. This makes the exercise just a little bit more harder as well, a little more resistance here in the front leg. And then as you get better, we would just move this up to higher surfaces like maybe the leg of a chair, all the way up to a table or a high bench. Okay, So that would be the progression for the split squat. Um, and again, six to eight reps with good form, three to five sets throughout the day. Now for workout B, uh, really the only difference is we're going to hold in a half split squat. And the difference here is that you know we just want to kind of gain some confidence in these bottom positions. So what I'm going to do here is, again, set up over the pad, lower down about halfway, use the wall if I need it for balance, but I'm just holding this position. Just trying to stay straight, I'm contracting the butt cheek of this back leg, I'm holding for 10 seconds, coming back to the top, come down about halfway, hold, and just repeat three times. Again, you know, the same progression applies, I would move off the wall into a more freestanding environment, and then elevate my back foot on the step in the same fashion. All in all, once you're done with this uh, progression, you know, keep, keep uh, uh, well, with this as well, I'm looking for three to five sets throughout the day also. Three 10 second holds equals one set. Like I was saying, you know, you can do these one day, uh, you do your workout A, next day you do workout B, and just alternate these two, extra, two workouts four to six days a week. In eight weeks, you're gonna have a fantastic split squat, you're gonna know exactly what you're doing with this exercise, and you'll be that much closer to exercise perfection.